Your local chef and restaurant owner keeps putting Sacramento on the map with his culinary excellence and exceptional talent. And today we're visiting this remarkable location. Some of the craziest years of my life, just being on lists that you watched my entire career, you know, James Beard and Michelin. I mean, I've read that book and used it to dine out all over the world for years. So to be part of that is, uh, it's still something that I think I have a, a hard time talking about because it feels like you're not being humble when you're saying, you know, I'm in the Michelin Guide and nominated for James Beard Award, but it's just part of what we do here at Localis. You know, it's definitely not me either. It's a group of people that, that make it all possible. I am Chef Chris Barnum, executive chef and owner at Localis. Localis is a fine dining restaurant. Unabashed by saying that anymore, we used to try to hide it because when we opened up, it was told very clearly, don't do a fine dining restaurant in Sacramento. People don't want that. Um, but my heart's always been in the finer parts of art and food. And uh, so we start out with delicious, incredible food and then make it look really beautiful and then surround that with an experience of, you know, beverage pairings, wine pairings, um, and incredible service to give someone an experience. Yes, it's delicious dinner, but experience is so worth the money. I've never been an interior designer, um, obviously an artist my entire life with you know, painting and charcoal and food and music, but designing something before you can see it was a daunting task. But I set out with the idea that I wanted guests at Localis to feel like they were sitting at a table in an old growth forest next to a little babbling brook. To me, that's like the iconic scene of what I find most tranquil and peaceful. And since we're not trying to like sell things here, it's not like a move it, get them in, get them out kind of thing. I want people to feel comfortable staying for long amounts of time. Uh, I also love the idea of Live Edge Woods. Um, so we sourced a singular tree that every table and every shelf in Localis is built from. Um, we did a local miller uh, named Phil Built that did all of the woodwork for me, but I sourced the tree myself about six years ago. Been sitting on it for a very long time. And as the project came together for the Localis design, uh, I think we definitely achieved what we were looking for with that feeling. Uh, our guests that have been before, you know, the remodel and after definitely say it still feels like Localis, but it's just so calm and beautiful and peaceful when you walk in. With the reputation that we have and the accolades that we have, many people don't even try to book because they think we're going to be sold out for months. We have spaces. Um, yes, we're very busy. If you want to come in on Friday night at seven, probably not going to happen for a couple of weeks in advance, but uh, we have tables. You know, Wednesdays and Thursdays are usually a day where you can come in. It's a little bit quieter here at Localis. We only do 40 people a night anyways, so it's not like we're ever, you know, slammed uh, during any part of service. But uh, make a reservation, come in and see what everyone's talking about, come in and see what we're doing here in our town of Sacramento, because many people that move from metropolitan food areas like San Francisco and New York say that this is feels like those restaurants, but in a small town like Sacramento. Hello guys, this is Tatiana Bedoya along with Tony Estigoy, and we're both luxury property specialists right here in the Sacramento region. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that bell icon and subscribe for weekly local content. And if you're looking to buy or sell real estate in the greater Sacramento area, please be sure to get a hold of our team.